Welcome everybody to the Mountain Trail Challenge. I'm sorry for the delay, but we're now finally here. We have my insanity versus Dusa Gaming, and together with me is Dragon. Hey Dragon Man, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Even though it wasn't the best start today, but now we finally got a game on our hand, and it's still a good game. Yeah, I hope so. Some tiredness, and yeah, this is your first game being a caster on 6.84, I believe. Yes, it is. I actually got the last game of 6.83 uh, with Game Online versus Balkan Bears in the Pro League. And right after that, the uh, patch got released. So I, I haven't cast it since. So really happy to see what new heroes we can find that these teams pick up. And we see one already here, Dragonite. And the, the band's already impacted as well with my insanity banning out the Winter Wyvern as well as the Alchemist. Yeah, all, so far, I've, all the games I've cast is just every time Alchemist get banned. Like, they don't want to see yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's one of these situations where these teams Five just say, okay, remaining. this hero just... We don't quite know where his impact is, how much his impact can be, Reserve and time. how people will run him and how to react to that, so we just ban it out and deal with everything else instead. Just, just more of a safety... Uh, just more of a safety ban than him being super good. I mean, that's, that's left to be found out, I guess. Yeah, no, no team has picked it up yet. I believe. I haven't seen any pro matches yet with an Alchemist. Yeah, me either. I mean, it's, it's really tricky because where, where do you end up running him? I mean, if you run him in the one position to farm up Aghanim Scepter for everyone else, then and he, he doesn't end up better. having too much, yeah? <laughs> he doesn't have anything for himself. On the other hand, he's a super strong farmer, a super quick farmer, so he can, can actually still have an impact Strike. even if he farms up uh, Aghanim Scepter for everyone else. But, but still, you don't want to carry to delay his impact by just... Uh, getting items for the rest of your team necessarily. I mean, there's only a limited amount of drafts that can really work. And then you can't really run him as a sport because he's not going to find the last hits there. The only thing left would really be to run him in mid and then just be a utility mid. Five seconds remain. Yeah, but I still also think that Alchemist is really easy to shut down. You just pick pretty much an AA in the other, in the other team and yeah. Alchemist is worthless. Like, yeah. What are you going to do then? And all yes. and if you ban an AA out, the other team already knows you're going to pick an Alchemist and they can prepare something else or they can might be even they'll be able to ban it. But I don't yep. see it any fit anything. What they're going to do with it. Yeah, yeah, maybe his last pick in some ah. very certain circumstances. I, I can see it working. I mean, uh, before the Alchemist has had a, a period of popularity here when people would run a mid, would, would put him here, uh, would get a medallion on him and then there was a time where the... Um, his stun was super OP, and it has since been fixed, and since then the Alchemist hasn't seen any play at all. So, I, I, I can't see him working in certain circumstances, but it's, it's really hard to find, the, find out what these circumstances are in the, the first place. Really tricky now. to put him in anywhere, but apart from that, Ashwreck, that's actually something I've seen nearly in every game I've casted so far. Yeah. This is like the top one pick, and the buffs to him are pretty minor. Uh, yeah, the buffs to him uh, to himself it's one, a more minor, point. I would say. Yeah, the cast point on Lightning Storm got reduced by 0.1 second. He got a li 5 extra movement speed, which is maybe the hugest thing. Oh, and sorry. Lightning Storm slow duration scales up to 1 second now. I mean, these are minor buffs, but you also have to consider what else happened in this patch. I mean, yeah, that's you true. do have, uh, most importantly, yeah, the pushing pushing is, or pushing and fighting in general. Um, it's a little bit more valuable now than just farming. A Lashra can work very well in drafts that are pickoff oriented because there's a very good stun. Just have a setup for that and then you have a pretty good damage and pretty good stun duration here from the split off alone. Plus some nuking potential from Lightning Storm, pushing potential from Edict, depending on what you want to go. And a strat that has Five been popular remaining. in pubs, I want to say at least, is to pick up an Octarine core on him. And then all of a sudden, he becomes a little bit more tanky because he gets uh, life points back from his spells. And that's the only thing that kind of uh, prohibited Lashrak from having, uh, from seeing too much play in competitive play so far. The fact that he's so freaking damn squishy throughout all stages of the game. But now with the Octarine core, you can counteract that a little bit at least. Yeah, but let's see. Yeah, and the messages I guess it's actually always been. The more old basic build like Bloodstone into BKB. I think I've actually seen Lashrek with an Octarine core far, but I assume if you can get it, it's incredibly strong. Yeah. Well, it gives you lots of armor. Yeah. On the other hand, it's, it's super expensive, <laughs> it's 6,000 gold almost. 
Ja, oh yes. Uh, yeah. Armor. That's Lotus Orb, sorry. <laughs> was, that was was caught up in my thoughts somewhere else, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Octo- Octarine Core doesn't give you arm, it gives you mana, health points, intelligence, HP regen, mana regen. There you go. Still pretty good. Yeah. I would like to see it though. Ready. I haven't seen it on any hero so far, or at least not yeah. with a big impact. I would love it. I've seen some solar crest though, I like that item. Oh, yeah, it's... The upgraded medallion, it's like, it's so yeah. strong. Yeah, especially with up against all the physical damage that was uh, really prevalent in 6.83. Uh, having that mischance or evasion applied, uh, depending on who you cast it on, very valuable indeed. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Five see, apart from the, then the DK, I want to say that Queen of Pain, Earthshaker, AA, they've all, all been picked up in 6.83 before, so they're not... I don't believe Queen of Pain or any of these three had a minor buff or nerf. Well, the only thing that had to happen to Ancient Apparition is that you can now manually dispel the Chilling Touch oh, if yeah. you don't need it. That's kind of a a buff in that regard. Um, Earthshaker, I don't, I don't know that he got any changes, neither did Queen of Pain. They've just been untouched, but... That's in some way the, nerf. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah, that was yeah. it. I don't know whose word those were, but when you're Strong unchanged, spirit. you're actually getting nerfed. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I would, uh, I would I would disagree yet, at least in regards of the Queen of Pain, simply because kills are much are worth much more now than uh, just passive farming. And Queen of Pain is the kind of hero that wants to start roaming around, wants to be all over the map and find these kills with a quick orchid. So and Storm Spirit too, for that matter. So I would definitely say that Queen of Pain in this current meta game that is still developing, but uh, with the changes to how the gold mechanics work. I do believe that it would favor her and Earthshake as well Five to some degree, since because he can also um, yeah, start fighting guild pretty much guilds. at level 1, yeah, even Preserve with just level 1 Fissure. It's a, it has always been a very strong spell, even in 6.3 and, and before, and it'll, it will still continue to be that. And, and now with the new gold distribution, of course, he, he is able to get his Blink Dagger faster with the kills. So. Yeah, that as well. And then, actually in regard with what you were saying, Storm Spirit, the hero that wants to get you know kills early on, Get snowballing as well. They're actually basing it around there, and with the AA as well, they actually have a pretty global, yeah, ganking yep. squad already. They're mobile heroes with the Queen of Pain, Storm Spirit, or Shaker will buy, buy a Blink Dagger, as you said, and then Ancient Apparition has long range artillery, um, denying any sort of healing from any sort of mechanism that might send you, you might want to pick up. Or just the passive so, abilities from DK with his, uh, he gets a used buff yeah. to. Uh, it's actually pretty tough versus him, which is Dragon Blood. Yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. Even for that, it's already great pick up. Also, disabling, of course, the new mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mangoes, that's another topic there where a lot of people were, or at least some people were, I'm, I'm not sure how much of an impact it would have yet. And I, I've seen that one Hunt player who put up a video kind of criticizing everything of the patch. Oh, yeah, I saw the and, one. Oh, yeah, I saw the one. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree th- with him entirely because he said it would destroy man management in the early game. On the other hand, if you really look at what it does, it gives you one health point region, which is, uh, is okay, can help you, but it's not really that big of a deal, all things considered. One health yeah. point per second is, is not all that much. Uh, it's nice if you can have and, it like early on for a long time. Then of course you can get the value yeah. out of it. But if you have to use it, yeah, you lose if you that. Have to use it, you, you lose that, and it's still 150 gold for 150 Five mana, which for most remain. heroes is maybe one spell. Yeah, one spell at most, right? So, and yeah, you uh, you invest 150 gold into something that Five into, and that 150 eight. gold could go into something that will last and that is not consumable, yes. could go towards. Um, your ring facility is fun, for example. Yeah, you can do a lot more with it, and it. Could, but yeah, there's also like you can make the plays with it. Like if all the supports are carry one or two, and you have a, like a storm spirit, and you give it to him, he can keep on going. If he yeah. Does, it, yeah, it's. I don't know I think it has a place in Dota, but I think it has to be found and really. Uh, what are you gonna do with it at the end? Yeah. Well, yeah, if you can I get d- a kill with it, being, yeah. with a I mean, support, if you can get a kill with it, then then it's fine. Yeah. I want to say, but for core position to get a kill with it, it's already less worth. So, Five but yeah, what do you say? Uh, yeah, it would be better on supports, I would say, or on, at least in those heroes that have uh, very limited mana pools to begin with. Example, here in this game would be Earthshaker. I mean, he can 
can cast one fissure and then he already has to wait for the next one. So with a, with a mango, he can cast the next one straight, straight away when it comes off cooldown if he needs it. So I, I can't see the mango enabling plays like that and enabling pickoffs, but I wouldn't say that uh, that would be too game changing in, in, the, in the whole scope of things. It can just make a play, that's about it. And actually, we see the Morphling though, that's fun. Yep. Morphling, I've seen him picked up a couple of times. It looks like an offlane Morphling here with that strength build for that super strong stun. It has a projectile now, I believe, so it's not quite as ridiculous as it was in 6.83. Yeah, but still. People found out then. that it's a. Yeah, even then, it's a 4.25 seconds at, at max level. So, yeah, and the next assassin for my insanity. So, that's another hero that we haven't seen all that much of in 6.83. Oh, but no, every time you did see it, he pretty much won all the games. What was it, 75% win rate or something along those lines? If he was I don't know the numbers in that, but yeah. I, I saw it somewhere, but it was really high. It was... If he gets picked up, then you, you usually win with him. We'll see if it is the case here as well. Also, I got the, uh, the Compendium Cursor pack on now. You as well, I assume? Yep, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> I also opened the four treasures that I got, and I was playing for this this lunar uh, lucent beam thingy. And? I got it at the very last. Very uh, last the golden? That I opened. Not the golden one, ah. no, sadly, but but I got the uh, night stalker immortal bundle. Uh, I got that one twice. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I was lucky. Oh, no. I was looking at it. And I was like, I don't want. I want the golden one now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was really happy the first time. Second time, I'm like, maybe I can trade it with someone. I'm like, trade then until like, was it somewhere in August, like. Yeah, I, I think I think I'll hold on to that and it and, and sell it. Then I guess I, yeah. don't, I don't replay Night Stalk all that much, and it says it would be very rare, so I might get some money out of that back. Out of those twenty-five euros that you first had to spend in it. Yeah, but yeah. Let, let's just introduce it, teams. Oh, another <laughs> pause. <laughs> it happens. But let's Classic just Dota. yeah. Let's just go over the teams. Then we have all the time in the world. We have Gog on the Lash Rack. He's going to be playing the position one for my insanity. We have uh, Grinzin, he's going to be playing the Lion. We have Milan going to be playing the Rubik. Slash Strike is going to be playing a DK. And we have... I don't know, really know which part of the name I'm so, supposed to say for the Knicks here, but... We'll call him... Yeah, you can just call him Mitch. Mitch? He's Mitch. Oh yeah, he's Mitch. He's why, Mitch. Does, why is he playing with this name? Well, I don't know. Ah. Just some more casters, I, I would presume. Yeah. Oh, you can take away Dooza then. <laughs> yeah, um, for Dooza, I don't believe that any of them are using the proper names. So I'm just going to go with what they have here. We've got Lifelong tra Tragedy here on the Morphling. Looks like in the one position. We've got Ah on the Ancient Apparition supporting here. We've got Norse on the Earthshaker looking to throw down the fissures left, right, and center. 44 on the Storm Spirit and Flo on the Queen of Pain. So, yeah, Storm Spirit looks like he'll be going mid. And flow in the offlane. Oh, Shaker probably roaming around a little bit early on. No mangoes though. He just went for the three clarities. Essentially, yeah, you can do yeah. three more fishes with it. So yeah, or what? Well, two more than with the mangoes. I We're just a little decent <laughs> cooldown. It's 15 seconds, so I'm not going to be able to use it twice. Nice fisher though, blocking <laughs> yeah. off, um, oh, man. blocking off the room. So very well done. The, the base. It's a basic fisher play yeah. you have to make, but they were walking <laughs> just in time, so they're still able to get the rune though. And they're actually looking for 4-4 now. They're gonna lift him up. They're gonna put him back. Oh, straight into the spitter. And Hex is there as well. They're just gonna finish him off. Yeah. <laughs> Great start for my insane. Not so much for Dooza here. No. Props to them though for uh, being available now with Hihi not being here. Yeah, that's really great. Uh, but yeah. Let's leave that out of that. We'll deal with that one later. And we now. We have this match going up. <laughs> but this is already a great start for well, Slash in middle versus 44. Yeah, he's almost level 2 already. He has a stun, we'll have to breathe fire next. Start harassing and getting uh, getting even more last hits. And it can be quite tricky up against a ranged hero just because, well, you're, you're not ranged. He's already taken quite a bit of damage, he has to be careful. Yeah, he does have his bottle already. He also already. has the bottle now, yeah. It's also a big part of it, him getting that first blood. And I, he also got the rune, so <laughs> this pretty much well, is. Yeah. Instant bottle plus magic stick, like, that's a great day for him. And even the Nyx is pretty far forward here, but they don't seem to be able to do anything against him currently. Uh, what I do find interesting is this Queen of Pain here. Oh, hang on, mid lane. Might see 44 die again. That's a stun, that's a hex. Chained up a little bit, or stacked up a little bit, but it will still be enough to get him to get another kill. I don't know what he's doing that far forward, man. 
He was he thought he could get a kill on Slash, but the rotation was just there from Grinch. Grinch. I'm going to pronounce that run wrong for so many times. <laughs> and Flo, yeah, he's doing yeah, cliff jungling. He just gave up. They just entirely gave up on their offlane. And Nyx got mm. killed by... Okay. Okay. But also... Oh, yeah, it was just a quick trip back to base, I guess. Yeah, I think, I think he might have been pursued by them. Because yeah. there's low mana on both the supports of Tusa. Yeah, R has been doing a very good job just harassing that. Um, with the cold feed, I mean, it's a, it's a decent damage if you can get a decent duration off of it, even if you don't get the stun. Um. Yeah. I do wonder one thing though. Do you think, like, my Sandy should just get their two supports, throw them on the offlane, and leave Gok just solo here? It's not like he's getting contestant at the moment. But if you say so. On the other hand, it's uh, oh, the yeah. fact that. Oh, <laughs> that's what they're doing now. They can afford that now. They have to keep their teleports up though, because. We see Nord rotating up here, maybe getting some, some experience, and if Flo decide, ever decides to come up there as well, when he sees that the supports are missing, then, yeah, then he might, ha might be able to make a play on Gogi, and Lashrag is, again, not the tankiest hero, and the only thing that kept him alive and that kept Flo from committing up top here is that this is actually a very scary trial lane here, with Lion having disabled, with Gogi having disabled and a decent amount of damage, and as well as the Rubik, who can provide his own disables and a little bit of damage with the Fate Bolt. So... Yeah, but now they're actually, going in. Going in. Oh, the Seagrins. They're gonna be the slow from coming out. Vizier. But they're just gonna turn this one around. There's gonna be the Hex. Splitter not being casted. He's just gonna use their Bolt Edict for now and zone them out. Flo's still going after the Grinch. No, he's gonna give up on that. Because Nord is taking a lot of damage from his Diabolic Edict. But, and he's gonna die for this. Flo, look at the damage from Diabolic Edict. He's gonna get another poison off. He's gonna kill Gok. On time? Yes, <laughs> this is a one for one trade. Uh, Gogi, Gogi getting the better end of it though, with getting the kill first, getting all the experience. And that was, that was a funky engagement there, but yeah, we see the strength of the Lushrak. This was the Diabolic Edict. If you manage to isolate a T row with that, let alone a tower, so much coming you, out. You just have to fight on the lane in the beginning. Yeah. You have to fight next to creeps, also you, you just don't survive that. Similar to how uh, the gyrocopter rocket barrage works. And you, and it's also a little bit Luna, I want to say, with the color eclipse. Yeah. And slash, oh, yes, slashed. Oh, gets you can say he's been right in front of 44. He he shouldn't like that. Yeah. Now he has an empty bottle. Bot run has also been taken. So, T by the Rubik. So, cool room control going away my Sandy. Yeah. It's doing a good job so far on every lane. And do that. I mean, 44 is struggling a little bit, even though, yeah, <laughs> giving up two kills. And maybe a third one here. Milan comes in with the. Oh, yeah, they do get it. Ah, slash like should, should survive with the water charges. Very well played. Really love the rotations here that Mind Sense can put, uh, is putting up. Uh, because they just need Grins here on top first flow, because yeah, there's already the Hex. Spit Earth. Yeah, they're not gonna hit all the skills, but yeah. Just having Grinch there is already enough to zone out Flow, and as long as they don't commit a second hero, they don't have to TP anybody top, and you can just have Milan defending middle, if need be, or rotating to bottom to help out yeah. the uh, of lane Nyx, so. Then again, Mitch is level 4 already, I mean, he has a stun, he has a spike hero phase, so, you know, of course he has a decent amount of armor and 3 health regen, base, base health regen, 3.3 even, so... That's why Nyx is in such a good offline, he can just stick around, he has the region inherently and he has the defensive capabilities of not even needing too much help, I mean. But then again, if they want to go for play in the Ancient Apparition... Oh, well they're going actually on flow! They're doing a lot of damage, but... Oh, she's just able to blink out! That was really close. They're gonna <laughs> pursue him. Yeah, it's uh, not exactly a safe direction that he's going to anyway. No, he's walking on the ward now, so they know that he's there. But they just want to push him middle. Flow, he can't defend this, he has to go back to base. Once he walks in once, one fire breath, yeah, it's almost enough to kill him. This might just be two simultaneous towers going down. <laughs> might be, I mean, that's another thing for, uh, for MII's draft. They have an extremely good pushing power uh, between them here, between the Dragon and Corrosive Breath, being able to take away towers like that, and of course the Edict, which is maybe unrivaled in the amount of damage that it can do to a tower, if you yeah. just let it. If you can just get it up there all the time, yeah. yeah. Level 2 already on that. Okay, he's going a bit of a hybrid build there. Ooh. Oh, some trouble. Flashback seems gonna be the stun. Oh, yeah. fire breath. Oh, they, he gets him. 
Yeah. Was blink on cooldown or? Oh, I just couldn't get it off. Yeah, he, he couldn't get it off. He turned around so he could try and go for the blink, but too late anyway. I think the curls of breath would have would have even kicked him out if he got the blink off. Because yeah, it is lethal now as well. So. This is. They just can't punish the Nyx. That's, I think, a big problem eventually. If you can get a level. Oh, yeah, they actually get tower on top as well. But if Nyx just can keep on going like this, gets an even level 6, what is uh, AW. A, I mean, AH gonna do ag against that? Like, it's gonna die. Yeah, not a whole lot. <laughs> That's kind of a big problem. On the other hand, I mean, the counterpart for that Nyx would be the Queen of Pain, but he's not even level 4. Flo started off cliff jungling and then dying in the offlane. I did get one kill. I don't know if you yeah. got the experience for it though. I, I I don't. He didn't. He died after Gogi. Yeah, uh, before Gogi, I mean. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's really a troublesome time frame because he that's the hero that they need snowballing together with the uh, storm. Because and as long as they're not snowballing, yeah, they will get this snowballing pushing line versus them. Yep. Because the only saving grace for Duza right now is that the morphing doing very well. I mean, as good as Nyx is in the offlane, he can't really shut down anyone on his own. But Milan is here now, try and help. And Mitch is not quite level 6 yet, but he should get it off this catapult if, if Milan isn't so snagging any experience away. Yeah, he's walking off to the side. Oh, he's walking back. Yeah, he doesn't have yeah. it now. Well, next free wave he will have it. It's not like he could. Oh no, they see oh. AH. There's gonna be the Fissure though. Oh, cold feet! Milan, he is stuck! He, this is gonna proc! Oh, there's gonna be the wave form in! Will the first get a return kill? They will, but Milan will still die, and Mitch will just be able to walk away from this. What do you think? So, fa favoring anybody here, or just even? Well, well, it's an even trade on paper, but no, there's a zip from 44. Should be able to get out, but maybe not. Slash so right here comes in with the stun, trying to fight the next assassin. Not a good idea. Now out of mana. Oh, yeah. man. Mistake you made. Yeah, that's but not what you want to be. He he had the soul ring, but yeah, you can pop your soul ring in this situation. That's the problem. <laughs> it was essentially what was it? Uh, four units uh, zip away to your death, yeah. and they lose and two towers down. already down. But yeah, to answer your question before, I mean, normally it would have been even exchange between support for support, but on the other hand, if you're behind, if you take even trades and it's actually favoring you, it's kind of a rule of thumb that you can go by. But then with uh, Sorcerer dying again, it's just, it just still brings you to the realization that uh, Doos is in a very rough spot right now. Gonna try to go for Milan here. That line coming in. Stun on one of the team. He has his finger! He is gonna use it in the morning. Gordon is gonna die. Mitch is there as well. He gets the Earth Spike off onto Flo. Of course, with Earth Spike having to kill. 44, he will be able to get at least Grinch away from there. Flo is also going to die again. Double kill going the way of Mitch. And now they go after 44. There are no other rotations coming in. Do they have an Ur? No, they don't have a fissure there. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Should be able to get away. Yeah. He has enough mana, and at best they can lift him once. Also, oh. it's already level 6 on Milan. Oh, he yeah. stole the. Uh, Spirit the Spirit Yeah, that's pretty good. They will now take the stacks and cut him into the economy. He's about to get out. This is just gonna get tough for uh, <laughs> producer. They, were also they know that they have to do something here, they're gonna go slash like, I don't think they can kill him, they don't even have the Vortex here. No, because they even have to, <laughs> look at this, all oh. this damage from for that, uh, Earth Strike, Peel, oh my god. And now they go for, uh, AH. Yeah, he's not oh. low for the world. I saw Mango being eaten, but still Milan is going to die versus, uh, Long Live Tragedy. And they're just gonna go for him now, <laughs> they don't care about the others. Get, just just keep the morphing. He has a waveform though, he's able to waveform out, he still has 14 stick charges. Oh, is he able to get them off? That's the question, no, he won't, he's gonna die. Oh man, too, just too much disable here on these heroes. Yeah, there's and no hero uh... on MYI that doesn't have a stun. Yeah, <laughs> it's always a, an obvious thing, but it's actually not, not always that you see it, but just draft stuns for everything and... And take these kind of skirmishy engagements, like two uh, two against three heroes and stuff like that. They actually have so much potential to just take these fights super favorably for you. Yeah, and even also, most of them are also, uh, and not most of them, but there's an even trade between AoE and uh, single target stunts. Yeah, that makes it also really nice. And, oh, here, take it. Lord, run. 
able to get out. You can't contest us. The entirety of MYI is down here. They can so just get another tower. tower. Are they gonna defend the mid though? They ping that one out. They're gonna rot. Are they gonna rotate here or are they gonna do this? Oh, they leave three people down with a tower. Right? They, can, they can just leave Gogi down here plus a little bit of support. Maybe. Yeah, maybe just to get it with a slash and just put the three supports with the uh, with offlane Nyx on the uh, middle. Oh, look at this, the, the pre-Fendetta TP. He's lo they're looking for north. Oh, little bit of bad impill there, but they're still able to get at least flow out of there. There's gonna be the Earth Spike. They don't have finger yet. In one second, eight mana. He's not gonna get it up before he dies. Now the teleports come out here. Zips around from 44, but he's out of juice. So he's stuck in the trees even. And AH dies down. Nice fitted here, almost bring down Slash Strike, at least stopping him from chasing down 44 here for quite a while. But they're looking for 44. Did he's able to TP out in time. But yeah, they defended tower. Googie was still down here. Now <laughs> Flo trying to contest, but almost dying in the process. But now Gogi's a little bit There's an official one. He does get it. Yeah, that, one, that was greedy, man. Like, the that... ultimate proc, or... Yeah, what, what Flo what was doing. Was? Like, why do you walk back for that? Like, you know. know he has a low, uh, low cooldown skill that is AoE, that will hit multiple heroes. A little bit too greedy, maybe. But yeah, the tower goes down and they didn't take the tier 1 in return, and that's just the difference of tower pushing potential. I mean, if you look at Dusa, they don't have any tower push, apart from the right clicks, and... I mean, maybe you can count Earthshaker with the Enchant Totem, which can do quite good damage to towers, but not at level 1. And not on the support of Shaker. No, not, a, not at that moment. But I want to say for 30 minutes he does have some items and he's on his way towards his blink. So. Seven in a row. And another kill. And he's... That was so damn quickly. So so damn quick. And I barely got to it in time even. I just saw the notification because I was looking at the uh, ear check like, when will we have his blink? Because they will need more initiation tools for this. Just having the Storm and Queen of Pain go in and then die is not enough. Milan just... gets a blink. Yeah. Not looking for Roshan, yeah. So, um, don't have any mind sign of the blink. Then again, Edict, level 6. Oh, they haven't done it. Okay. Oh, they have some. Yeah, it's, it's a little tough, they need to look out. <laughs> Apart from Slash, they're all fairly low on HP. You no, know, I mean, in total health pool. Well, I mean, not for Mitch. Actually... <laughs> oh, AA Blast! This is, yeah, this pulled out. If they can, yeah, it's sad that, that they aren't close, because if they went ahead and initiated on that, they would have killed on a triple kill. Yeah. Well, at least they stop, uh, stop the Roshan now, but of course, if they were in position and... Oh, oh Mitch. Bonara. Mitch. Yes, Vendetta. They, they popped down a sentry right underneath the tower. <laughs> that one is going to disappear, like, yeah, right away. Oh, Milan, he has his, he has his free blink. Also, always awesome. He found HA, he's pulling him up. Oh, straight into the impale. There's gonna be Gogi dead, however. A Ace is also gonna take a fall. Solo Earth. Oh, oh the blink ping dividends there. Yeah. Holy Paul can zip up after him if he wants to, but doesn't look like he He will. No. Feels the urge to get another kill. They're a little bit too close. Oh, Dashwork actually committed suicide. Hell he's bloodstone already, 50 minutes. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> no, this is this is oh, really yeah. fast timing. Would have said, hey, yeah, a good kill for them, much needed kill, but no, don't even get that. Oh, that's... Uh, yeah. At least they didn't do this anything, apart from that, um, apart from that kill bounty, of course, but... I think that's that has to be their game plan, I mean, just shut down Gogi before he can't get off his spells. I mean, it's kind of the easiest target to go for, all things considered. You can't really kill the dragon that quickly. Oh, they need the support, but they'll be able to fight back with uh, labels. Can't do you really think, what do you think then it. goes next for, for BKB? Uh, Lushrak? Oh, we yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised, yeah. Because then they can't really go on him anymore. Yeah. They, have, they do have some things, but not enough. And AH, AH, oh. he just walks into the wrong neighborhood over there. Actually, 700 gold away from the BKB as well. I don't know, actually, the Slash Strike, uh, who has it now, almost on the career, so. And what then? They can't really initiate. They have a little bit of pure damage, but would, the physical damage is pretty non existent. Yeah. So it's still mostly relying on magical and a little bit of a cure from Sonic Wave. Dire structures are fortified. 
It's gonna be tough for them to take a fight. Not to point and if Flo only has the level 1 Sonic Wave, that's 290 uh, pure damage, which is good, but if you consider a Dragonite with 1500 health points, that's a drop on a hot stone right there. Yeah. Here's a BKB, he's untouchable right now, because Morphling, I mean, Stormsword has a little bit of right click, Flo can, maybe has a little bit of right click, but if you can't lock him down, then he doesn't really care, he's just gonna smack you in the face instead. Yeah, and th th that's the one problem now with the Morphling. I think if they actually went with him with the full strength build, they had some lockdown. But because it's so low, I don't think they can even kill him in the time that he's locked down to follow it up everything. I think he's still able to get his BKB off afterwards and then kill them. Yep. Because there's no way it will just be slash strikes when we're walking. Well, we always have steam behind it. Oh, he has a blink. He wants. He's looking for something. Storm is not close. Close enough to his plus down yet. Still 1.3k of that. Yes, I mean, it's a 10,000 gold lead for Mind Sanity right now, 7,500 experience, and it also shows in items. If you look at network distribution, you only have the Morphling who's up there, but Morphling is a hero that needs a lot of gold to actually uh, uh, get to the items that he needs to start fighting properly. On the other hand, you got Slash Strike who has a BKB plus Fed, he's got gold, he doesn't. has a freaking Bloodstone already. Plus, uh, these amount of levels here to the boots, which is all he really needs. Yeah, and it's... then you have Lion with a freaking blink dagger, you have Milan with uh, arcane boots and medallion and an urn, so... Yeah. Mind Sandy has so much to work with right now, and they're making an account, taking down a tier 2 here. There's no way for reason for them to stop, because they are fairly big ahead. And you just can keep pushing a little bit, you know, poke it a little bit around, try to force them into banking bad rotation, or like this. Lifelong tragedy, he's alone. Ooh, are they able to get there in time? Yeah, they are! There's gonna be this... He's just gonna lock him down right now. The finger is there, and he's gonna die. That's a dead Morphling, and now they can just go into the base. That's your eyes, never hero down. Yeah. First don't thing that... Is your stolen. Can anything. Can anything. Is your oh, slash frame. Using his BKB, Earthspike slash frame. Flo is gonna die before he can do anything. There's gonna be the uh, AA Blast, though. It's his then, but there's, of course, no damage be done. Is Slash gonna die from this now? It's fine. not gonna be enough, no. It's still, it's still a lot of nice spots. It's kind of underwhelming here. If, um, if the BKB wasn't on yet, then he would have died, but yeah. There's a reason why he has BKB. Before he rests down, the Rex will go down. I don't, I don't see Dudes on the jack here. No, this is gonna be the game for uh, my ascent. Okay. Yep, GG's called. Called. And 19 minutes in the game. And just snowballing away my scent is showing the new meta a little bit. At least I think this will be the new meta. Team oriented and pushing. Yeah. Pushing the very wrestle pick heroes that can fight that have disables that have some tankiness here between them. Um yeah, but very solid draft for my insanity, and I mean, it's not like Dusa had a bad draft. I would, I would definitely see that working. I mean, if it came to the little bit of a later game and they had, they had found these kind of team fights where the Earthshake and Ancient Apparition, Ice Blast, and Storm and Queen of Pain really shine, then it would have been maybe a different game. But yeah, Storm's been being shut down so so early. Queen of Pain also. It's just not the kind of position that these heroes can come back from. Oh, they can. Just too far in it, but we'll we'll be right back with the new with the next match. Actually, we will be having. I mean, we'll take a fast look at the schedule. We'll be having Dusa Gaming again, and now versus. No, we have my incentive versus basically. My bad. So we'll be go make the lobby, and we'll see how long it will take them before before joining in. I'll see you guys till then.